Jam friends and welcome to Zazumi. I'm Sherry Barbera and today we are covering 10 ways, 10 ways to sell out potentially your NFT project using Twitter. And of course, I'm very excited about this because if you want to grow a following on Twitter, this is going to help you regardless of whether you're doing an NFT project or whether you're a collector collecting NFTs, it's all going to help. Let's find out what to do first. Number one, if you have a project, the first thing you want to do is consider giveaways. This means you need to budget for a giveaway. You want to give away potentially cryptocurrency tokens maybe some kind of prizes, maybe you're giving away some of your NFTs, whatever it is, you need to budget for that in order for it to happen. You can get thousands and thousands of followers, retweets and comments just by doing giveaways and this is why people do them so frequently. For example, a brand new collection called Lady Ape Club, oh. which, which just dropped. I dated a girl that looked like that in New Jersey. <laughs> Go on. What? Why are you screaming? <laughs> I said I dated a girl that looked like that in New Jersey. Okay. Good morning, Rob. Great to see you. Thank you for being here. And Rob. hey, hey, Dale. And hello, Robin. Great to see you guys. So glad you're here. Thank you for joining us. When Lady Ape Club launched less than a month ago with zero followers, what did they do with their tweets? The very first tweet introduced the project and the marketplace that they were going to be on. This is what that tweet looked like June 23rd, introducing Lady Ape Club, hashtag LAC. We're a collection of 10,000 unique Lady Ape, hashtag NFT. See how they're using hashtags within Twitter to get people to find these tweets. Created by TNC Group Art Team, so they've already doxxed themselves. They're already saying, this is who we are, this is what we're doing. Each, now look at this new hashtag, Lady Ape NFT is unique. Those who own one of these can enjoy exclusive benefits. Our fabulous NFTs will be available at hashtag STRM NFT Marketplace. And this is how they, are able to begin to get followers. They provided a collection link, a website link, and target hashtags. And this is what that looks like. So at Lady Ape Club, check out our website with a little icon of the internet. Visit our NFTs here with a link to the marketplace. And then again, hashtags, 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 drawing in the community of NFTs, putting out there just NFT, anybody interested in NFTs, and the name of their collection, Lady Ape Club. And this is a great way for both collectors and for the project to get out there and get followers. What happened? Well, their very first tweet got 104 comments. That's pretty huge, Good. pretty huge for a first tweet. <laughs> 3,594 retweets. So already people were excited. And why wouldn't they be when you're talking about apes? And obviously they're using Board Ape Yacht Club as their resource for the images of the lady apes, obviously promoting to Board Ape Yacht Club owners who are spending hundreds of thousands, even millions of dollars purchasing bored apes. Did you so, just say, wait, did you just say why wouldn't you be excited about talking about apes? Did you just say that? Or did you say eats? No, I said apes. You did say apes. I said apes. I just wondered if any of these people were ever excited <laughs> about talking about apes before this, or all of a sudden they are now. You know, the NFT space has been so almost overcrowded with knockoffs of Bored Ape Yacht Club, and apes has sort of become like a no-brainer way of presenting a project now for a lot of NFT creators. I think it's smart to do your own thing. On the other hand, 
many, many of these copycat projects are doing quite, quite well. So so it could become a planet of the apes. <laughs> it really is. The NFT planet of the apes. And I think Rob said planet of the NFTs. <laughs> ah, so he did. He yes. beat me to it. Well, yes, he Rob. Should. What a comedian. <laughs> so look, 3,594 oh, retweets, 873 likes on their very first tweet. Pretty fabulous. And this is what that tweet looked like, introducing Lady Ape Club, blah, 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 with a nice clickable link right to where they are, the STRM NFT Marketplace and the TNC Group. Those are the two different Twitter accounts, sorry. <laughs> Twitter, hello. Those are the two different Twitter accounts that they tagged on this particular tweet. And then this is what the whole thing looks like. On day two, Lady Eight Club posted their second tweet. In their second tweet, they announced a giveaway and prizes. They provided a sign up link, a marketplace link, and more target hashtags. And with Twitter and Instagram and YouTube and almost any social media now, it's so valuable to include hashtags for people to find your project, your collection. Their second post on Twitter got 7,568 comments, 5,265 retweets, and 2,046 likes just their second day of being on Twitter. And that is from offering a chance to win $10,000 worth of STRM tokens and GSTRM prize pool. So showing you how to sign up, here is the form for you to get validated and then additional hashtags, Lady Ape Club, NFT, NFT community, love STRM NFT, giveaway NFT and giveaway alert. And this is what that clickable link looked like. And what am I telling you here? I'm telling you, this is a perfect way, a perfect way for you to quickly, quickly, quickly grow your Twitter account for your NFT project from day one. Just follow successful projects. And <laughs> this is a very, very successful and project. And you, in turn, will get a lot of followers. You will get a lot of followers, but what do followers mean for you? It's not a vanity thing. It's sales. You want as many sales as you possibly can. The bigger your following is, the more potential you have, not only for sales, but to sell out the number one thing you want to do, sell out your collection, maybe even before it drops, maybe even before it drops, because this gives you the opportunity to get people on a white list, to get people over to your website, get people to your Discord. This is what is so valuable. Giveaways, giveaways. So are there any questions? Do you have any questions, honey? Nope. <laughs> Does anyone have no, any questions? I, Put them in the comments no. below this and I am <laughs> going to keep moving on. Number two is build a community on Twitter. It's not just a following that you want. It's people who are super excited about your project, about your collection, about your artwork, about your potential utility. If you have utility for your project, what is it that you're doing? So on day three, Lady Ape Club posted their third tweet inviting their new followers and potential followers to join their Discord. And Discord is the second most important place right now for the NFT community. If you have an NFT project, you want to have, number one, you want to have your website where you're gonna show everything about your project. And I'm gonna be talking about, in the next video, your NFT website. Number two, your Twitter account. Massively important to build a following to sell out your project. Number three, Discord. Discord is where you actually promote your whitelist, you talk about your project even more than you do on Twitter, you meet your followers, you engage with your followers, you get new followers. There's so much that you can do on Discord. Website, Twitter, and Discord, those are your top three marketing avenues 
for an NFT project. So they invited the community to join their Discord. They provided an invite link. It wasn't just a link to randomly Discord. It's an invite link. That's what it is called. And this is what that actual tweet looked like. Join our Discord. And here is the link right here and additional hashtags, of course. And this got almost 1,400 retweets, it got almost 1,900 comments, and it got 531 likes. And this is just on day three. And they posted at least two more tweets on day three. So it has been less than a year. And in less than a year, they have actually tweeted 451 times. Now there are only 365 days in a year. So what does this tell you? It tells you it's so valuable to post at different times of the day to gain new followers because people are not always online when well, you are. I was going to ask how they got all that attention. Yeah. Why they got all that attention. So where, quickly. What they did to get all that attention. So quickly. And this is what I'm showing you, 10 different ways right. to gain followers, build a community on Twitter to sell out your project. And one of the interesting things that they did, I'm going to be showing you in a minute, and it is something that you need to include in your project budget, and that is advertising. And marketing is one thing. You can do a lot of free marketing and promotion, but advertising with a budget can be incredibly valuable to grow your following it's super quickly. It's hard for people to spend money for advertising. It's really hard. Well, because you, you don't know if you can actually track what happens, but really right. on and Twitter so much you can. about getting a return on what you spend, but yes. the, the, the idea of how much money you can possibly make with NFTs. It's remarkable, right? If yeah, and it, if you it really, can be hundreds of thousands, it can be millions. If you go all in, millions. why wouldn't you? I mean, if if you're, it's the time now. Now is the, now time, is the time to time. do this. NFT space sense. is now still is young, is still new, is still growing, and you have the opportunity today to build out an NFT collection, an NFT project, and make it massive. You're still an OG. You're still an original gangster if you're in this space today. And that's really amazing because how many spaces can you say, I'm an OG of this space? Probably not that many. So <laughs> I don't know. Put it, put it in the comments below if you're an OG of something else. I'd love to see what that's about. Okay. Wait, what's OG again? Original gangster. Original gangster. This is what their Discord invite looked like. Lady Ape Club invites you to join Lady Ape Club already. Look at this thousands and thousands of members. So they grew their Discord in less than a year to over 10,000 members. And this is the way, geez, that's pretty amazing. This is the way you can build your following super fast by doing one and two. Giveaways and building a community, number one and two. So what is number one month later? Less than one month later. 38,600 followers, holy crap, 38,600 38, followers in a month. I, I think I said a year, but it's been a month. They literally dropped, they, they opened their NFT account a month, less than a month ago. Is Lady Ape Club, are they already <laughs> related to, to what? Board, Ape, Board Ape, Ape Club? No, they're, they're not, not. They're not. They they're are not, not related at no, all. No, they are not related. The, it's a completely different team. Yuga Labs, um, Larva Labs, Yuga Labs uh, um, are Board Ape Club. This is a completely different team behind the Lady Ape Club collection. However, it really looks like they used the art to create the ladies, or they had the same artist. I don't know. I haven't done any research That's beyond why the asked. Twitter. That's why yeah, I asked. Beyond the Twitter, it I don't know. It seems like they crossed the genders pretty easily. Well, most of them look like men or male apes with lipstick <laughs> and wigs. <laughs> but you know, you have to say that actually apes kind of 
hard to tell the female and the male apes apart from each other other than the size of the males is so much bigger, right? Sometimes it's the other way around, yeah. Oh. <laughs> but no, usually you're right. Okay. Again, I'm thinking about girls in New Jersey, sorry. Go on. Okay, so look, in less than one month, they have grown their Twitter account to 38,600 followers. Quite extraordinary. So are there any questions about this? If there are, put them in comments below, put them in the chat, whatever you want to do, and I'm going to keep going to number three. Comment on other people's accounts. Comment on your own posts comment on other people's comments to either your posts or posts on a different account literally what am i telling you i am telling you to comment <laughs> top twitter accounts can get hundreds maybe even thousands of comments every single day and engagements they will get not only comments but retweets likes and shares of their posts every single day so not only should you comment but of course you want to comment but you should like share and retweet other especially top nft collectors and top nft projects collections accounts their posts so cosimo de medici he is one of the big 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 nft crypto art collectors and he has only been on for not even a year on Twitter. And look at this, he already has over 200,000. He's got 263,700 followers on Twitter. And that is because not only does he post constantly, but he also has a newsletter called Medici Minutes. And all of these things are marketing and promotion for him, but look at what happens. He gets 2,300 comments on a post. He gets 3,000 likes. He gets 400 retweets. He gets tons and tons and tons of engagement because he is constantly posting and commenting. Now, if you comment early on one of his posts, you will get maximum exposure because all of the people after you are going to see your comment and this is a secret way for you to build your following even faster by getting maximum exposure through other people's accounts so comment is a way to find a new audience a fantastic way to find a new audience to supercharge your own exposure if you only are willing to spend at least 15 minutes a day commenting on other people's tweets the top NFT accounts. This can be not only, I'm gonna to go to us, this can be not only collectors, but this can be other projects. This can be other people who are collecting and have accounts on Twitter. This is just a really, really smart way for you to quickly build a following. And this is also true on any social media. So this is not a huge, giant secret <laughs> of how to build a following. This is a massive way for you to build a following on any social media. That includes Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, which is social, right? You, not only the second biggest search engine in the world, but a social media platform because people are very social in comments on YouTube. And it's a fantastic way for you to build and you, that. And it's like every other social media platform. You use other people's success yes. to promote your own. Yes. Yes. That's so what it is. That's you what it is, basically. need to understand the value of other people's accounts. This is why even if you're on YouTube and you want to understand more about the NFT world, go to other NFT YouTubers comment under their videos and get comments back from these giants of nft spaces and you know that will just also help to grow your own account super quickly so make your comments interesting don't just comment yo bro or hey dude or what's up you know man or something like that's 
That is like, why even bother? Don't even post something. Yo, bro. <laughs> Yo, bro. Don't do this. Make your comments interesting. Make your comments valuable. Say something that people will also respond to. Say something of value and be kind when you're talking about other people's accounts and posts. What your goal is to make a comment that stands out enough to be retweeted. Not just to be retweeted, but to actually, when it's retweeted, be understandable. Because a lot of times, people will post something like, yeah, that was really cool. Okay, well, if that was retweeted, what was really cool? I don't know. So you need to be even more verbose. Say more when you're retweeting something than you typically would in order to get your comment to stand out as its own simple retweet. Okay, are there questions about that? Because commenting is huge. I'm just gonna go over to us for a second. And when you're talking about giveaways, building community and comments, now we're seeing a pattern, I hope, we're seeing a pattern of how you build up a tribe of people who actually will want to stick together and boost your collection themselves. So this is a free way to market. This is why you want to build a tribe because the tribe boosts your collection for you. They promote for you. They talk about your project for you on their own accounts. And this is what you want to happen. So any comments about that? See how um, I use that word? <laughs> Anything you want to say, honey. <laughs> well, I just like the idea of complimenting people about if, yes. if, if it's due, I mean, if it's due, I mean, if they're, you know, telling them how, how high the quality is of their NFTs and how finished they look and why you like them so much, the more you say in a positive manner, not only does it make, you know, them get a good positive comment, it makes people look at you that way. Like, in a positive fashion. In a positive fashion. Yes, and, yeah. and that's so smart because if you look at their artwork and you really have nothing nice to say, like when we were looking at the goblins right. for Goblin Town and someone posted how hideous and ugly they were. Right. It's a, that, so, of course, that is a great way to get noticed, right? That's right. a great way I, to get if noticed. if I made the goblins, I just would have said simply, thank you. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, because, because it's exactly what we were going well, yeah, for. Yeah, because negativity can also boost awareness and boost followers, right. but are those the followers you want? Is that what you want? So there are other ways of saying, yeah, that's really ugly and hideous, but also super fun, very clever, very you daring, want, and completely different. You want different. followers that are going to lead buyers to you. Yes. Ooh, basically. Say that again. You, you want, want followers, followers that are, are going to lead, lead buyers, buyers to you. you. <laughs> I love that. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> that was really good. That was super smart comment. Thank you, honey. Number four, what value can you bring to Twitter? What value can you bring to other people's posts? What value can you bring to your own project that will increase the interest, that will increase the followers, that will increase potentially the sales of your collection? People like to follow compelling information. Don't just blab. Say something of value. Don't just say, hey, bro, how you doing? You know, make it interesting. People follow stats. They like statistics. They like data. They like to know what is actually happening. I'm a nerd with that, you know. I mean, anyone who follows us on YouTube knows that I am a super nerd when it comes to stats because they are real. They're scientific. They give you actual information and a marker of where you are now and where you will be. And this is something that you also want to think about when you are building your following, when you are spending money on advertising. You literally can track with markers how many followers you get from an ad. This is something that you can track when you do Twitter marketing. So don't think you're just taking money and flinging it out the window. You're not. You are using your funds with intelligence when you gather data 
you read your data and you see where your money is being spent successfully. And this is the value of stats and data. People also follow, follow humor. They love meme accounts. There are meme accounts on Twitter that just do hundreds, maybe millions and millions of comments and retweets because people love memes. Make your own memes of your project that people will retweet and comment on. Humor is vitally important. It's not just something that makes everyone feel better, but it's something that makes your collection stand out from the other ones and gain followers. People always like a new point of view. If you have something to say that hasn't been heard before, or you have a unique perspective on someone else's project, someone else's collection, someone else's artwork, someone else's account, this is what people always get excited by, something that they haven't heard yet. And you want to think about how you can have a unique point of view. You can add your own value by posting advice on something that worked for you. If you know something that already worked for you, just post those different tidbits, those different tips. Maybe you have a tip of the day. That's something that people will look forward to. Maybe you have a thread of the day that you want to have. Strategies that benefited you that you can now give out for free to people who are following you and potentially will follow you on Twitter. Are there questions about that? I'm just looking and I haven't seen anything in the chat, so put them in the comments below. And I am going to talk about number five, be authentic. What am I talking about with authenticity? People react best when you're real, when you're talking about things that happen in real life, IRL. What is happening in your real life? What is something BTS, behind the scenes that you can post? If you are willing to post behind the scenes photographs or videos or talk about something during your day that happened and you post it on Twitter, you will find that people start to follow you more quickly. In fact, people can weed out a phony super fast and you will find your account dropping like flies. So always, 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 you want to be authentic. You want to be real. You want to give out real information. This is a great example and it's a Twitter account called Betty. She has an NFT collection. She's a creative producer, a feminist, a collector of NFTs, a horde mother, and her collection is called Dead Fellas with a Z. And she is an entrepreneur, she says, and here is a link. She only joined a year ago on Twitter and already she's got over 10,000 followers in one year. How did she do that? Oh my God, wait a minute, I am wrong. She's got, let me go back to that, 80,000 followers. Oh yeah, I can see, I had, I have a little, you can't see it, but I have a little comment thing here, right over the eight. So that is 80,300 followers in a year. How did she do that? Okay, she posts things like, I am a woman, raising three daughters under six, still breastfeeding my youngest, I built and run a multi-million dollar project and brand from my home, changing my life and my children's lives. I am my own dreams come true. And herein lies the power of NFTs. And she posted that September 27th, 2021. It has gotten 1,700 retweets, 400 quote retweets, 14,200 likes and has probably built that 80,000 people following really quickly. On the other hand, here is an account by Nusir Yassin and he founded NAS Academy. He's a fantastic entrepreneur, but it has taken him 10 years to gain a following of 81,000 on Twitter, which is still remarkable, right? But he started in 2011. So, well, actually it's 11 years. So what happened? What is the difference? He's not breastfeeding his youngest. He's... <laughs> that is 
is true. So what did he do differently? And what he did is what I want you to be very, very aware of. Betty talks about not just her project, she talks about herself. She makes it personal. She talks about in real life. She talks about behind the scenes. She talks about who she is as an NFT creator and why things happen. What is the reason behind what happens? What is her life like as a mom with little, little kids under six years old? And what is going to make her, let me go over to us. What is going to make her collection sell out? or potentially sell out and in less than a year just by doing that she has been able to gain over 80,000 followers now what did Nas do differently he posted almost exclusively what he posts on YouTube he's a youtuber with a ton of followers and he has millions and millions and millions of views of his YouTube videos that are all a minute or less and they're all showcasing some person and talking about that person's life. And then what he does is basically he posts the same exact thing on Twitter. Oh. Now, Twitter is not YouTube. Every platform has its own way of being successful. And when you are thinking about posting on Twitter, you wanna think about what are people actually looking for on Twitter as opposed to YouTube. People go to YouTube to get information. People go to YouTube to be educated, to find answers to something, to see something that's crazy, remarkable, to see something unusual, but mostly the majority go to listen to music, they go to learn something, they go to be educated. And that is very different from Twitter. It is. So you really need to think, who is your audience? and what do they want? It's really not all about you. <laughs> Everybody thinks, oh, it's all about me. No, it's not. It's all about your followers. Are there different age demographics between YouTube and Twitter? Because I don't even know what that difference is. I know like that TikTok is like very young. Very young people, but yeah. I don't, know, I don't know what the age difference is between YouTube and Twitter. Well, YouTube has every age group because it's an right. educational platform. Right. But the majority are pretty much young to, to in the middle, like super young in their teens, even babies, because there are YouTube videos that moms put on for babies all the time, and pets, <laughs> YouTube videos for pets that pets watch uh, when parents aren't home. But it is, a, it is still a youngish platform, probably up to about 40, 45, and then people over that are still getting used to getting onto YouTube. Don't necessarily right. use it that much. Twitter also is a youngish platform. Yeah, I don't see older people using Twitter. Not so much. No. There are older people using Twitter, but not nearly as much as youth and young adults and even, you know, the 30 to 45, 55 age range. So Yes, I would say that is your potential market on Twitter, but still to grow a following, to gain new eyeballs, to for youngsters to get a new point of view is not a bad thing, right? It's always a good thing to give people a new point of view. And so Twitter is very valuable no matter what age your creators are for your NFT project, you still want to market, but thoughtfully with the right content. Right, also it would be interesting to know what the age group of create, NFT creators are. Oh, that's, that's, an that's another video, okay. <laughs> Thank you for that, but that's another video, honey. Okay, so what does he do? So he literally posts basically what his YouTube videos are, most humble crypto billionaire, and then the guy, the crypto billionaire replied, you know, haha, thanks for the awesome video, really appreciate the fact that it was so quick to shoot, and that got 4,000 likes on it. But do you see the difference? This is not the same as posting things about yourself. So try to be yourself, find your own voice, don't copy other people's accounts, 
but learn from them. So go to other projects and learn. What are they doing that is successful? What are they doing that isn't? What is getting a lot of comments? What is getting crickets? This is what you wanna know and of course, be consistent because if you post consistently every single day, try to dedicate 15 minutes out of 24 hours in your day to Twitter, it will pay off financially. And that's what you need. It will pay off financially for your collection. Authenticity attracts followers much more quickly than just information. And that I showed you the same number, basically the same number in an account. So Betty has over 80,000 followers in, I mean, like no time whatsoever in, in a year. And Ness has 81,000 followers in 11 years. So yes, you do need to be thoughtful about the platform that you are promoting on. And think about your followers. What are they actually looking for? Aren't they looking for something totally different on Twitter? Yes, they are. And this is what you want to be sure you think about. Number six, build a tribe of people who are like-minded on your account. Why? Because you will be able to gain new followers much more rapidly from their followers, okay? So when they love your project, when someone loves your project on Twitter, they will retweet it to their own account. When their followers who are like-minded see your project, see your artwork, understand what you're out, maybe your giveaway, then they have the potential to come to your Twitter account, to follow you, to get involved in your project. And that is why you want to build a tribe, not just people, not just followers, but like-minded followers. Go to similar projects on Twitter and comment. This is called networking, okay? Comment. Build your tribe from followers of other projects that are similar to what you're doing or the type of people that you would want to buy into your project. Find five or 10 accounts with your ideal type of collectors and then comment daily on their tweets. Say something remarkable. And when I say remarkable, you want people to remark, comment back on the things that you post. So like their tweets, retweet them, share them, do the things that people love. Don't you love it when, when people do that for you? Well, yes, you do. And so why wouldn't other people love it when you do that for them? Think about other people. What would they like? What do you like? We'll do that for them as well. So you'll organically build a tribe for your project. And when I say organically, this is as opposed to paid advertising. This is all organic and it can take longer, but it does work. Questions about that, please put them in the comments or put them in the chat. Number seven, direct messaging people. Ooh, this is something maybe you haven't thought of. This is a little scary, but you certainly can do it. Twitter, unlike many other platforms, gives you a way once you are following someone. So first you have to follow them, but gives you a way to direct message them you can actually reach out to some of the biggest collectors of NFTs on the planet privately with a direct message and ask them a question. So if you were to do this every single day, my gosh, could you imagine how many people you would be able to attract to your own collection and build your account on Twitter? just by introducing yourself and your project to them in a direct message and, and number one, asking if there is a way that you can provide value to them. Don't ask them for anything. <laughs> this is you saying, what can I do for you? This is me, this is my project, this is my collection, this is me on Twitter. 
I love what you're doing. How can I help you? Is there something I can do to add value for you? And that's what you want to think about. So make a useful comment, make a kind comment. Do something about their project or their NFT collection. Say something that will make them want to respond, that will make them want to follow you, that will make them want to promote your collection to their followers. And this is how you build your own network, your own wonderful tribe of like-minded people with other founders and influencers. And this is another thing that you want to look for. Influencers. These are people who are followed by NFT collectors. Oh. Yes. So NFT influencers like Cosimo de Medici, these are people who influence the NFT market space. So they're not actually buyers, they're influencers. They are buyers. They are buyers. They are buyers, they are collectors. That is how they actually influence people. Oh. Because maybe they spend hundreds of thousands of dollars purchasing one bored ape. Well, that's remarkable. So something that people will comment on, something that is out of the ordinary, how many people have a million dollars to spend on a digital piece of art? Yeah, but being an influencer is a job in itself. It is, but if you are a person of influence, like perhaps Gary Vee or someone like him, people will follow you. People want to know what you have to say. And if you're posting daily, which is what Gary Vee does, which is what Snoop Dogg does, who is Cosmo de Medici, by the way, um, then, yeah. You These are not people that say, I am an influencer. They're just people that are because are who influence. they are. Right, because they have so much celebrity, so much notoriety, so many followers. Right. There are so many reasons. Right. I was talking yeah. about the people that say, I am an influencer and I... Yeah, and there are a lot of people like that on Instagram. I'm an influencer, blah, blah, blah. And what makes them an influencer? What makes them an influencer is what they say, what they show of themselves, what they do to get people to follow them, mm -hmm. and then the number of followers. Right. So that makes them influential over a large The more followers they have, the more of an impact they have. Yes. So wonderful for you to connect but say that said that holds true for everything the more followers yes, you does. have the more impact you have the yes. more sales you'll make yes it's just exactly it really kind of all of this is sort of a no-brainer and yet it really helps for it to be laid out easily for you in 10 steps like 10 different ways that you can do this and it's not hard to do it takes time, it takes dedication, it takes consistency, and it takes saying something of value. And that actually is one of the hardest things to do. You know, practice your writing skills, practice saying things. Right. Look at other, like Marie Forleo, I think has a fabulous way of saying things. Tony Robbins has a remarkable way of saying things. You mean saying things? that make people want to listen that make people want to listen that make people want to retweet right what they said oh, you have to see this you have yeah. to hear this yeah look and at this guy look he at this. said look this, this and look at this yeah. and that's what becomes a meme and this is what you want you want people to say oh wow she said that or he said that i'm going to retweet that because it's so smart it's so clever it's so funny whatever it is so start thinking about like your the writing before, skills. But I don't remember what it is. <laughs> about girls in New Jersey? No, that wasn't the one. Okay. The one where you said it was a good comment, but I don't remember it. So. Okay, we'll keep going. Sure, it was good. If you want to know, look All back right. in Number the video. Eight. No, no, no. Okay, so build connections with founders and influencers. The reason for that is your net work will become your net worth of your project. And if you think of network and net worth, as being synonymous to building your tribe, it will start to really help you understand how important all of this is, how valuable all of this is to building a following to sell out, to become financially successful with your NFT project. Number eight, spaces. Do you know what spaces are? Well, if you don't, 
Twitter spaces are just like Clubhouse. They are live audio social groups on Twitter. They are a free growth tool for you. And there are spaces happening every single day, hmm. especially in the Twitter and crypto space. Tons and tons and tons of people are always talking, right? They're always talking. And what you want to do is you want to get on there, mute your mic first, and then when you have something of value to say, you know, raise your little hand. And, and when you get on stage and someone asks you to speak, unmute yourself and say something of value. Say something that's kind, be interesting, be remarkable, be funny, whatever it is. When you start talking on Twitter spaces, this is a fantastic way for you to be discovered by people who will never have heard of you, but are following the other people that are doing spaces. And this is also a great way for you to be asked to be a speaker. So spaces is Twitter's version of Clubhouse and has their own account, of course, on Twitter. Twitter Spaces has almost 500,000 followers because they are always improving what you can do on Twitter Spaces. It is very easy to attend a space. In fact, here's one from Zen, NAS Zen on NAS Academy. Join our space today, learn everything about CryptoCora NFTs with, of course, hashtags, and then here the link to the spaces. So twitter.com, I, spaces, and then the actual link to the spaces. To the space. Spaces are on your phone. So regardless of whether you have an Android or an iPhone, you can attend and you can be a part of Twitter spaces. You can also, they have added this most recently, record and save what is said. And why is this important for you? This is very valuable to record a Twitter space because you may learn something you didn't know, something that you want to remark on, comment on, post on your Twitter account. Maybe it's something that you want to post on your Instagram or in Discord, or maybe you want to put something on your website, whatever it is. Recording Twitter spaces can be very valuable for you to build your following. And that is something that you want to definitely think about when you're attending a Twitter space. It's very simple to start and attend. You can join from your cell phone almost anywhere in the world that Twitter is, and then take the stage. Take the stage, don't be a chicken. Go on stage to gain followers and build a tribe of like-minded people who align with your projects, artwork, with your values, with your goals. And that is what you want. So speaking in spaces about your own project is only going to improve the way that you think about and discuss your project. The more questions you get asked about it, the more information you will be able to give out about it, the more you will understand what do people want to know? What can I help people with? What can people learn? about my collection, about my project. And this is another great reason to go on spaces. They're happening every single day. Just get on stage and say something interesting. <laughs> that is the bottom line. Say something interesting and your network and your following will grow. So, questions. <laughs> Do you have questions about this? Because Spaces is something that a lot of people still do not know about. As I said, it is a live audio on Twitter. It is almost exactly identical to Clubhouse, if you were ever on Clubhouse. And I absolutely loved Clubhouse and, and running Clubhouse rooms. And I think Twitter, just the same. Spaces is such a valuable marketing tool. Well, the difference between Clubhouse and Twitter is Twitter is its own platform in itself and this is an addition to its plat this is an addition to its platform yes on myself yes yeah. <laughs> that's so right it, that's the difference clubhouse is clubhouse that's what it is right and yet twitter gives you that extra added layer of having your own account to build a big following where then right. you can post right. comments and people that are, are videos on, are on the twitter space platform, right? can actually just 
quickly just snap onto you because they're already on Twitter. Yes, and I'm so glad you pointed that out. When you're in a Twitter space, people can click on your account and learn about you very right. quickly and follow you super simply. Right. So they thank you for saying that. Don't have to open a different um, social media platform. No, you don't have to open you're a new window. Twitter. Right. You don't have to do anything special. You're just right there, and it's super simple. Thank you for saying that. Very smart. That's Number true. nine, paid advertising. Which that really deserves a, a hoo hoo. <laughs> paid advertising. Uh, we'll Twitter ads. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Promoted ads, follower ads, and trend takeover ads. These are the three different kinds of ads that you can pay for on Twitter. And at the bottom here is the actual link for you to advertise on Twitter. Getting started with twitterads.html. And it is something that you want to look into. That is .html right here. That's an L right behind my picture here. You definitely do want to put this in your project budget and you definitely do want to consider Twitter ads. Now, another place that you can pay for ads is the marketplace that you will be on. And that is something I haven't covered yet, marketplace advertising. I did cover in the last video calendar, NFT calendars that you can promote your, your NFT collection on and you can literally advertise on these calendars as well and you want to put that in your budget. But marketplaces also allow you, of course, to pay them <laughs> to advertise and promote your NFT project. And this is one on Stream. Stream, it's actually Streamcoin. And Stream NFT, no time to be boring. Join the Lady Ape Club. This is literally an ad that Lady Ape Club put on the Stream Marketplace, and then Stream Marketplace posted this on their own Twitter account, and then Lady Ape Club retweeted it. Did you follow all that? Because that is the way that all of this works. And it is a really smart way for you to build even quickly off of someone else's account. And the marketplace, look, so this was June 20th, Stream NFT Marketplace posted, have fun with the trendy, carefree, and wacky Lady Apes starting July 2022. Indeed, there's no time to be bored with TNC Group's exclusive Lady Apes Club LAC collection, which you can explore and will be up for sale at the Stream NFT Marketplace. And here's the link. And you can also click on this and it is a clickable Twitter post. And the very next day they posted another one. So do you see how you can market? You can pay for advertising that goes not only on the marketplace, but also on social media. And this is something so valuable for you to do. And next, <clears throat> you can cross promote with a marketplace. So Lady Ape Club saw that um, the Stream NFT was doing a giveaway, $10,000 prize pool. So they posted the marketplaces giveaway in order to build their own following. And this is another thing that you can do, and this is why it is so valuable to retweet. You will gain followers from other people's followers, including your marketplace. And Stream NFT has on Twitter over 24,000 followers. And so fast, fast way for your collection in a month to gain a ton of followers just by piggybacking on someone else's account. So this is what a marketplace promotion actually looks like. One, sign up for them. Number two, follow them, like and retweet this post. This is another way that you get so many followers. Number three, tweet a photo video showing your love for Stream NFT with hashtag love Stream NFT. And do you see how you can gain followers so quickly by asking them to do all of these things and even asking them to follow you and retweet. So are there questions about paid advertising? This is something you definitely, definitely want to consider. Number 10, I love number 10 so much because it is a free 
but also paid way for you to get featured in the news and build a following fast, fast, fast. So what do I mean by that? Well, Lady Ape Club was featured on crypto news, on their website, and, and on their Twitter account. So read the article below. Lady Ape Club posted a link to Crypto News' website article. And this is how you piggyback and cross-promote each other. So what should you do? You should network with news accounts in your own space, in your NFT or crypto space on Twitter. How do you do that? You search news, you search podcasts, blogs, newsletters, magazines, calendars, but specifically in the NFT space. And you do this by going to the top of the Twitter page, there is a search box. So you always wanna click on the hashtag explore, and at the top of the page, there will be a search box that comes up. I entered the term NFT calendar. Then you wanna click not top, not latest, not photos, not videos, but people. People are accounts. And this is how you find all of these accounts. And you can click on every one of them. You can literally follow them right here, but you can hover over them and see how many followers they have and learn about them. Look at how simple it is to learn about all of these different things quickly just by doing a search on Twitter. So type in NFT news and all of the accounts will come up under people. Type in NFT, oh, and then just hover over one of them and a pop-up will come up and show you exactly how many followers they have. 12,900 followers for DeFi NFT news. Do you want to follow them? Yes, <laughs> you would want to follow them, but you would also want to go to their account and comment and get to know them and maybe DM them and ask them about advertising and you know marketing and, and cross-promoting and things like this. And this is where you will start to quickly get noticed much more, much more massively on the Twitter space. So NFT podcast accounts, look at how many came up for this. And this is nothing, there were many more than this. NFT blog accounts, NFT newsletter accounts, NFT magazine accounts. All of this is super, super valuable. I only covered three of the top NFT calendars, but look at this. There are so many NFT calendars that you can post your collection on. Wow, I mean, think of all the things that you can do for free just by learning about Twitter accounts and typing in using that search box. And for me, I'm just gonna go over to us. For me, this is the fastest, smartest way for you to build a following, for you to understand how to promote, market, and advertise, for you to quickly grow on Twitter, gain people, a tribe of people, a community of people that want to purchase and promote for free your NFT project, your NFT collection. And you can do all this before you even make your collection. You can. You can yep. start today. And it's important to build up a following. Yes. So that when you launch. You already have people who are excited and interested exactly. in your project, exactly. in your collection. Right. And here's another thing, and right. I didn't cover it, but you can always hire a virtual assistant. And by virtual, I mean people who are not in your office, who don't even come to your office. These are virtual people around the world. There are people in many, many countries that would love to be hired by you to do this marketing and promoting instead of you. Maybe people who are great at writing, who have wonderful, funny things that they can say, and, and maybe you're not you know, that funny or that great at writing, and they can write for you. In an authentic voice of yours, you tell them what you love and what you're like and all the things that you do and what your project is about, Basically, they interview you, and then in your voice, they can write these posts. So is that not authentic? It does sound like maybe that isn't quite as authentic as you would want it to be, and yet, you can certainly have someone who can write, who's a great writer, write in your voice mm -hmm. to be authentic. So 
many, many ways that you can market and promote yourself. And those were 10. Okay, next, I will be covering your project website. What should be on your project website? There are things that you definitely, definitely want to put on your project website. If you are a newbie to our YouTube channel, please subscribe. We are, our goal is to hit a thousand subscribers as quickly as possible. And of course, like this video because you know I love those likes. So if you haven't liked this video yet, please like this video. And as always, we are so grateful and thankful that you are here. Watch the next video about NFT websites. What should be on it? What should be in it? How many pages should it be? Should you dox your team or not? I mean, all of these things, all of these questions that you might have and then Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Like this if you haven't liked it yet. And we will see you in the next video. We will. Ciao, guys. Toodles.